filigrana. Filigrana. Sí, filigrana. filigrana. I am going to give you a verb. Ok. ¿Eh? Verbo hacer. Hacer. Hacer una filigrana. Hacer una filigrana. So it's an action. It's an action. So it's an action. Uh, I'm trying to think. Is it something that all players do or only specific players? The specific players. Specific players. Um, can I? Can we do the thing where I name some players and sí, you? I, I love that game. Yeah. We are going to tell me some players, and I am going to tell you it is very common to use that uh, that uh, expression, that word. Yeah. Or not. Okay. Now, do you want me to name a player, or would you like me to name a position? What do you think would be more useful? No, it's me? more. It's, 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 I think it's funny if you tell me name of players. Okay, name of a player. But try to find different kind of them. I know the last time I, I made a really bad mistake, I think I named three defenders and that was the most stupid thing I could have done. <laughs> so I'm going to try and mix it up a little bit. Uh, let's go for Ronaldo Nazario. Ronaldo Nazario uh, from... Yes, yes. She, she, she can do filigranas and he can they, do filigranas. they beat... In yeah, the, the so game. so he did filigranas. Yes, he did filigranas. Okay, interesting. He did filigranas. I got to give you a percent. Okay. I'm going to give you a percent of 20%. The 80% <laughs> we were doing, we were focused on mm, other things, but a per 20%. Okay, 20%. Okay, so he was an attacking player, so I imagine it's something that attacking players do more than defensive players, perhaps. Yes, he used to be. Okay. But for example, Sergio Ramos, I can give you 20%. 20%. Okay. 20% as well. Okay. So that's... a uh, Okay. Uh, Gerard Piquet. Gerard Piquet. Mm, no, no. Not at all? Not at all. Mm, not at all. Interesting. Not at all. Interesting. Okay. From time to time. Well, that's not, not as common. Okay. Okay. Uh, and what about um, Modric? Modric. Uh, not too much. Not too much. Not okay. too much. Interesting. I don't know if you're gonna, it's interesting that, that Ramos does this and yeah. Piquet doesn't do it and Ronaldo does. Yeah, Ronaldo Nazario, yes. Mm. Yeah, Ronaldo Nazario, not Cristiano Ronaldo. Exactly. Nazario. Okay. And it's something, it's, it's an attacking related yes, thing. Yes, it's an attacking action. This is interesting. Can I get one more guess at a player? Yeah, you can say more. Okay, you okay. Want. What about, um, what about. What, I'm trying to think of a good striker that did a lot of things. What about like um, Dennis Bergkamp, for example? Dennis Bergkamp, not too much. <laughs> From time to time, you can do one, but not not common. I'm going to tell you name as player. Okay. In my opinion, the player who did more filigranas yeah. right now could be Neymar. Ah, the player who did most fili, or who does most. Remember the superlative. The player who does most filigranas. Uh, is Neymar. Okay. Vamos a pedirle a Nacho un ejemplo de jugador que haga filigranas. Okay. So, Nacho's thinking about, <laughs> thinking Nacho. about a player. <laughs> yeah. A player that does filigranas. I was thinking as well uh, about Neymar. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Um, Would Maradona be somebody that does filigranas? Well, sí. Yeah. Sí. Mm -hmm. Pero, eh, Ronaldinho, for example. Ronaldinho, Ronaldinho. for example. Mm -hmm. It's more common to find Brazilian players doing filigranas yeah. than Argentinian players. Right, okay. In my opinion, the Argentinian players don't do filigranas mm. as much as them. So it's a type of like, a, it's a trick of some description, no? It's a type of trick. Yeah, this is coming back to me. It's a type of trick that people do. It's like a flick, no? The type of flick. And I think it, it fits into this encaja. It fits in with this idea of the samba football, no? Exactly, yes. The samba football. Yes. So it's some kind of trick, and I'm trying to think of what the, of the kind of tricks that Neymar does. Well, it's not the, the rainbow flick, which is a sombrero. That's mm -hmm. when you put it over somebody's head. It's not that. What else do these players do? It's not a step over, because that's a bicicleta. No, no es una so bicicleta. It's, so it's not a step over. It's not the, um, the elástico. Or you said the elastic, which is a flip flap. Tampoco es específicamente la elastic. No, that's it. So it's some kind of trick. Oh man. <laughs> and 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 Sergio Ramos does this. Yeah, from time to time, yeah. Thirty percent. Twenty percent. You've absolutely got me there. I can't think of any trick that, that Ramos does. Ramos for me isn't a samba Brazilian player. <laughs> but Na you Nacho. don't need you don't need to 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 dan to to dance samba in order to do it. Okay. It depends on how you are going to focus on your football. You, the objective when you're playing football is to arrive from the point A to the point B. <laughs> and if you want to arrive there, you can 
uh, find different ways of doing it. Okay, okay, okay. God, <laughs> th th this man sounds like uh, Platon or something, like a philosopher. He's in yeah. Plato. This morning, um, I wake up. Okay, so Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho. Ronaldo Nazario. Neymar. Do this. Neymar. Okay, some kind of is it some kind of dribble like a type of regate, some type of dribble. Shh, no, it's not a kind of dribble. The, the, una filigrana es cualquier cosa, cualquier cosa orientada a darle belleza a lo que haces, sin importante mucho que que sea efectiva. I know exactly how to say this in English. And you have a word in English for this one because una filigrana. I'm going to I'm going to tell you the, in English is filigree, hmm? and is <laughs> Una técnica orfebre utilizada en la joyería artesanal que consiste en rellenar con finísimos hilos de metal, generalmente gold o silver, uh -huh. formas huecas, figuras previamente elaboradas por el artesano que conforman complejas piezas de joyería formando un dibujo semejante a un encaje. Ah, so it's to, uh, add, to, it's to add beauty to something which is already beautiful. Exactly. Okay. Do you know how to say that in English? I think you've probably... Filigree. 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 Yeah, but we wouldn't use it in football. So ah, what do you say that in football? It's... Unbelievably, it's similar to this. It's another maritime expression which we would say to showboat. To showboat. Oh, to showboat. To showboat. To, to showboat. It's like to, to show, like espectáculo. Sí, to show. To show. Uh, and boat, again, like barco. <laughs> I, I don't know where that comes from, but to showboat uh, is like to to sort of do tricks, do something beautiful to make, to add beauty to, to what you're doing. Normally you do it when you're winning. Normally you yeah. do it when you're winning. Uh, yeah. You could say that, oh, they've started to showboat now. Cristiano Ronaldo is very famous for doing this uh, in a game. It was against Arsenal, I think. And I think Manchester United were winning like 8-2 or something. They were really, really doing very well. Yeah. Uh, and, um, yeah, Ronaldo started to showboat. He started to do little tricks and all that kind of stuff. And I don't like it. I'm, I'm against <laughs> it. I think in Scotland, if you try to showboat, they... Yeah, they, 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 it's, they it's, kill you. He's the same. That's the one of the problems as uh, Neymar is that when you are doing filigranas, That's maybe from time to time they receive a tackle. So That's what? it. Yeah, yeah, showboating. Yeah, if you try to showboat too much in showboat. the Scottish league, yeah, they'll I try to, it. they'll try, to, they'll try to kill you basically. So yeah, <laughs> don't do that. In in Spain, maybe you can do it. I'm gonna have to get a eh for that for me. There we go. You can't wow. win, you can't win them all. Wow. You can't win them all. That's it. 